Good afternoon again. Um, it has been a long day, but it's been a very interesting one. So that, that uh, as my, uh, my fellow colleague said, that um, we see that in the room. It's long, you know, but you're still here with us. So it's not easy to say goodbye, uh, but we're coming now close to the end of uh, the stakeholder conference. And um, we do have to start saying goodbye. And I think, uh, from what I understand, we've had quite a, a large number of participants, and that's a huge sig uh, signal of, of the success of this gathering uh, and the uh, enthusiasm and the commitment that uh, the stakeholders have felt um, to be actively part of uh, the WestMed uh, action. So from what I've seen and what I've heard, and, and, and yourselves, uh, you are testament to that, there have been a lot of interesting discussions um, um, and very relevant uh, as well, um, organized around the four thematic areas of the West Earth Med uh, Initiative, so the aquaculture, the cluster alliance, the spatial planning, maritime spatial planning, also the greening uh, uh, shipping and ports. These are all key priorities also um, to the European Union. We've also enjoyed uh, presentations on successful MFAF uh, projects, covering uh, coastal tourism, uh, um, also ports and, and the blue skills, but also ocean literacy. Also priorities um, emphasized by uh, the Maltese co-presidency um, 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 of the WestMed um, initiative. So overall, I think we can agree, uh, as already mentioned, that it's been really useful to, to come together, cooperate, listen, and, and as well as talk to each other about how the WestMed is preparing for the future. Preparing for the future with sustainability in mind, but we also heard several times, especially in the morning, but also through the, the winners, actually, of the projects as well, the importance of that engagement um, and cooperation and networking. And I think that is probably one of the key essence of the success of where the WestMed initiative is um, um, today. So um, it has also been, you know, uh, listening to the conclusions uh, of the, the session just before the awards, uh, I think we can say from the way, you know, the, the, those sessions went, it's been very useful as well in terms of all the different ideas uh, that have come out to think about how they can be used also to accelerate progress as well um, in the West Med, but also to be foundations as well and sources of inspiration for the continued strengthening of the cooperation and the networking uh, and uh, the engagement. And I think we could all agree by, by what we heard and what we see uh, and so on, and also in preparation for tomorrow's man, uh, ministerial, I think we can all be very impressed, uh, and I think Charlene has said it, um, this is an excellent example, uh, a role model, of what has been happening in the Mediterranean, uh, in Europe, but also uh, um, uh, outside the EU. Uh, and how keen and, and there's a lot of energy and enthusiasm uh, for working together in order to accomplish these common goals, common ambitions, all for the sustainable uh, blue economy um, of Europe. So also on, on behalf of Mario, on behalf of the Commission, thank you very much for being part of this uh, successful uh, um, uh, conference today. Um, I would say a big thanks also to the WestMed uh, co-chairs, I'd like to extend that as well, to the co-presidencies, uh, our, our hosts, Malta, but also um, um, for, for making this a very, it's a beautiful, beautiful place to hold such, a, such an event and, and I think that's very conducive also to the very good environment and discussions that have been taking place. I also want to say thank you very much also to the WestMed Assistance Mechanism, who've done a great job. So thank you once again, but very importantly, to the stakeholders. I think it is yourselves that have made this also a success, and that is very, very important. None of this would be without your enthusiasm, but also commitment. Um, Shalina will be representing the Commission tomorrow um, at the WestMed um, Ministerial. This ministerial uh, is a result of a lot of hard work that has been taking place over quite a, a, an amount of time, but it's also a result of the effort of the WestMed countries to ensure, uh, very importantly, that the initiative remains relevant and a useful tool for the development of a more sustainable uh, economy um, um, in the Mediterranean. 
And like I said already, we've heard repeatedly, and, and Shalina, I think, underlined that, uh, uh, and I want to also say that as part of the closing thing, the WestMed Initiative is an excellent uh, example for cooperation, for engagement at all levels, uh, and it is contributing effectively towards accomplishing the goals and the objectives for a sustainable economy in Europe. And I think that's a very important thing to bear in mind as we come to a close of this uh, uh, stakeholder conference. So, the conference may be over, uh, but we have the enthusiasm of our uh, project winners uh, uh, to take forward, but we also have the enthusiasm of yourselves, of your ideas coming out of today uh, to take forward. So, I'm sure we're not going to stop today just because we're coming to the end of the conference. There will be continuity, of course, in terms of discussions and so on. So, I'd like to thank you once again for the active contribution, and we look forward to tomorrow's ministerial who will take that more in, at a more political level. So thank you all very much and wish you a great evening, good travels back, and uh, it's not goodbye, it's arrivederci. Thank you.